Let's be honest, sports cars are not just about fast speed, quick acceleration or tight cornering. The looks are just as important. No doubt, modern models are attractive, aerodynamically perfect and aggressively built. But can we call them beautiful and unique? Well, today we'll show you a selection of new sports autos that do match this criterion, mostly because of their classic retro designs. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy these new old sports cars. We start the engines now. RML short wheelbase. It goes without saying that each of 9000 Ferraris produced every year is a great example of automotive craft and engineering genius. But what they lack is the finesse and exclusivity of models created during the reign of Enzo Ferrari. The short wheelbase designed by the British motorsports company RML Group was created as a tribute to the iconic models of the past, specifically to the Marinello's icon of 1960s Ferrari 250 SWB. The creation of each unit starts with the Ferrari 550 Marinello that serves as a donor of the chassis, 485 horsepower 5.5 liter naturally aspirated V12, 6-speed manual gearbox and some electrical architecture. The coupe rides on revised suspension with bespoke springs and dampers, but retains the original brakes, ABS and traction control system. This Grand Tour will become a grand prize for 30 collectors around the globe who will get to enjoy the flawless carbon fiber bodywork and luxuriously appointed interior that separates the RML short wheelbase from other recreations in Bresto Mods. The cabin is finished with a 10 leather upholstery, is equipped with a modern air conditioning system, superb hi-fi sound system and smartphone connectivity. RBW Electric Created by the British RBW and inspired by the British MGB Roadster from 1960s, this model reimagines the iconic car with an electric motor and up-to-date tech. The car gets a brand new British motor heritage shell, custom-engineered chassis and a double wishbone suspension. It is IVA and new vehicle registration compliant. The electric drivetrain consists of two elements a 95 horsepower Continental Engineering Services motor and a lithium-ion battery pack from Hyperdrive Nissan. The setup produces 87 mph speeds, can accelerate the car to 16 pH in 8.7 seconds and offers 160 miles of driving. The latter number can be raised to 200 miles if you opt for more cells. Charging is the weakest side of this resto mod. It is possible at 3.5 kW at peak which means that you should need about 8 hours to restore the full capacity of the pack. Despite keeping its vintage vibe, the RBW gets LED lighting, an LCD display with satellite navigation and an audio system. Finally, the all-electric MGB can be purchased in Roadster and hardtop versions. Sacrilege Motors Porsche 911 EV Created by the Connecticut-based Sacrilege Motors, nicknamed the Blackbird, is inspired by the aesthetic of a supersonic Lockheed SR-71 aircraft and is based on a truly remarkable milestone vehicle. It is a 1992 Porsche 911 America Roadster that was released as a limited 250-unit edition exclusively for the US market. The car gets fitted with a Tesla Model S motor that promises 500 horsepower and 369 pound-feet, plus there is a battery pack with 62 kWh capacity. The company promises 3.8 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration and 200 miles of travel. The 911 EV also gets a limited slip differential for maximum grip even in poor road conditions, and a custom suspension setup with two-way inverted pants race shocks up front and three-way adjustable remote reservoir units in the rear. The three-piece forged wheels are supplied by Fisk and are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport PS2 tires. The stopping power is provided by Brembo Performance Brakes. Of course, the Blackbird comes dressed in black inside out, keeps analog gauges and tips the scales at 3200 pounds. Frontline Cars MGB LE60 
The British Restomod expert celebrates 60 years of MGB with a new model, the first in the brand's history to use a V8 engine. Limited to 30 copies worldwide, the new LE60 features widened track and body to accommodate larger 16-inch wheels, while well, the customers can now choose from a number of exclusive hues and personalization accents. To cope with the huge uplift in power, the LE60 undergoes a complete chassis overhaul and comes fitted with a bespoke suspension co-developed with Nitron. With the near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution, the coupe rides on a double wishbone front suspension and a six-link setup with Nitron coilovers in the rear. The Frontline's most powerful creation ever utilizes a modified 4.8-liter Rover V8 powertrain that bursts out 375 horsepower and 312 pound-feet of torque, which is three times more than the original car. For this reason, each LE60 also gets a proper gearbox from Tramac, a beefier brake package and a limited slip differential. Standard interior features include hand-finished leather and Alcantara, a premium sound system and Bluetooth connectivity. Totem GT Super Totem Automobili has taken upon itself the task of creating the Alfa Romeo Giulia that never was. After releasing a successful all-electric Restomar GTE, the brainchild of the Italian car designer Riccardo Quaggio is making an internal combustion version. Just like its predecessor, it will be limited to 20 units and will use the iconic 1960 Alfa Romeo GT as a donor. The carbon fiber monocoque was merged with the donor car's chassis parts. However, to handle extra power, Totem introduced high-resistance steel components, in-house double wishbone suspension with R53 dampers and a braking system from Brembo. The heart transplant for the Super comes in the form of the modern Alpha GTA engine, but this unit was heavily reworked by the Teltechnic Engineering and now carries the designation the ITV61 Gloria. It is a 2.8-liter 90-degree V6 with a central front position and a double turbocharger with the electronically managed twin-stage sequential system. Stage 1 and 2 performance tunes yield 600 and 750 horsepower respectively. As a pure sports car, the Totem GT Super boasts a 6-speed manual gearbox, rear-wheel drive and a gear-integrated limited-slip differential. The final touch for the Totem Automobili's restoration is the custom interior with disabled seats, softest leathers, carbon fiber trim, 3.5-inch vintage-style infotainment, and hi-fi audio. Zinger DLS Turbo for their latest creation, Zinger combines five years of dynamics and lightweighting study and collides it with the Turbo project, resulting in the most powerful Porsche 911 ever built by the California-based company. From the outside, the new DLS Turbo embraces the iconic looks of the Porsche 934 5 endurance racers from the 1970s. It comes in two versions, track or road-oriented. Both feature a wide body with massive fender flares, new air intakes, rear bumper exit exhausts, and plenty of carbon fiber parts. However, the track version gets a more aggressive front end with a larger splitter and a giant double plane rear wing with an adjustable upper element. Where the two DLS turbos do not differ is the powertrain. Zinger takes the owner's Type 964 engine, rebuilds it from the ground up, and adds high performance components like electric wastegates and air-to-water intercooling. As a result, the reborn twin-turbo 3.8-liter flat 6 is claimed to deliver over 700 horsepower. Like in all of the Zinger builds, the power is sent to the rear wheels through a 6-speed manual transmission. If you want us to cover retro cars more frequently, then make sure to smash the like button and leave a comment asking for more. Remember to write at least five words of encouragement. Let's keep rolling. Mitsuoka Himiko Named after the ancient Japanese queen, 
the Himiko Roadster is a small IC Rasto mod that looks like a child of a Jaguar XK120 and a Morgan Arrow 8. Its first generation was launched in 2008, while the current model saw the light of day in 2018. For 2024, the stylish two-door offers seven exterior paint options from the Class C Solid Grey to the eye-popping Sunshine Orange and Passion Red Metallic. There are also front wing emblems and a grill bench, applied using an ancient technique for metalwork. The car is based on the chassis of the mass-production Mazda MX-5, which allows to keep its pricing quite modest compared to other retro sports cars of today. The car gets Mazda's 1.5-liter Skyactiv-G engine with 114 horses that can be paired with both manual or automatic 6-speed gearboxes. Inside the Himiko brings heated seats, leather upholstery, a CD-DVD player, and even such modern tech features as cruise control, traffic sign recognition, and navigation. The only major issue with the Himiko is its availability, since the updated model is limited to only 10 units for this year. Lotus Type 66 Back in 1970s, the Lotus founder Colin Chapman tasked Team Lotus to create a racer that would participate in the high-profile and commercially lucrative Can-Am series. However, since Chapman was mostly interested in Formula 1 competition, the Type 66 never made it beyond the technical drawings. 53 years later, as a part of the Lotus 75th anniversary celebration, the British brand contacted Clive Chapman, the son of the legendary founder, and finally brought the project to life. The rediscovered and reimagined performance car will be limited to 10 units. It will retain the retro looks and livery, but will absorb some modern engineering solutions to conform with the performance and safety standards of today. The body of the Lotus Type 66 was refined through more than 1,000 hours of computational fluid dynamics, resulting in 1,760 pounds of downforce at 150 miles per hour. At the heart of the supercar sits an aero-specific mid-mounted V8 pushrod engine that breathes through the iconic canem inspired air intake trumpets and is good for 830 horsepower at 8800 rpm. To top it all off, the new Type 66 gets a race ABS, sequential gearbox, anti-stall multi-plate clutch, and a fixed rollover cap. E-Legend EL1 The German startup E-Legend, led by the former VW Group designer Marcus Halsinger, continues the work on the electric supercar inspired by the Audi Sport Quattro, the once pioneering all-wheel drive coupe created to participate at the Group B Rally Racing. Originally, this build was envisioned with an internal combustion engine, but developers chose to switch to a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup combined with a gearbox and an inverter. Power is supplied by a T-shaped 80 kWh battery that stores around 250 miles of range and can recharge at 200 kW. E-Legend claims combined output of the powertrain reaching 816 horsepower and 774 pound-feet of instant torque. This is good enough to get to 62 mph in 2.8 seconds, continue to 124 and 7.5, while the top speed is limited at 186 miles per hour. The Germans have already begun testing of the stripped-down prototype with a carbon fiber structure. When in full flash, the coupe version of the EL1 is expected to weigh 3,950 pounds. Plus, the architecture will also support other body styles. Nichols N1A Steve Nichols is a prominent McLaren Formula 1 designer who was behind arguably the most successful racer in the company's and Formula 1 history, the MP4-4. He left the British team in 2002, but after a long hiatus, came back to the automotive business to found his namesake Booty Carmaker. The first four-wheeler out of the Nichols car's gate is the N1A a clear homage to the McLaren M1A, which is considered by many as the first true McLaren. Underneath the skin hides a bonded extruded aluminum and carbon fiber chassis, 
classic wishbone suspension and racing multi-piston brakes. The original M1A was powered by the modified 310 horsepower 4.5 liter aluminum block Oldsmobile V8, but its progeny went for more potent mills, namely the LT1 and LS3 units from GM. The standard banker makes 460 horses and could be upgraded to 520 with throttle bodies and trumpets. The option number 2 is a 7 liter V8 that more than doubles the M1A's HP output to 650 horses. Both are coupled with the Nichols developed 6 speed manual transmission with the Senna inspired gear knob. Classic Recreations Shelby Cobra Diamond Edition Classic Recreations is a licensed manufacturer by Shelby American who bring back to life their most iconic makes. The latest introduction to the lineup commemorates Shelby's 60th anniversary. It is an all-carbon fiber Cobra with its own legacy potential and a limited run of just 10 vehicles. The autoclave cured aerospace grade pre prac carbon fiber body of the Diamond Edition Cobra weighs in at an astounding 88 pounds. At the same time, the 5 liter V8 with the Magnuson supercharger holds 900 horsepower under the bonnet and can catapult this beast to 60 and 3.9 seconds all the way to the VMAX of 190 miles per hour. How do you feel about electric conversions of retro cars? Is it sacrilege or a smart way to give these beautiful autos new life? Leave your answers in the comments below. Before you go, subscribe to Automotive Territory, smash the like button and proceed to exploring new sports cars through the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!